Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves in a Michigan courtroom with Eric Martin, the living softard who doesn't even have a half a brain to share with anybody, let alone himself. At any rate, he's here to be arraigned for a failure to appear at another court date. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good morning, Mr. Martin. Can you hear me? You're muted. Now calling case number 23S00425. This is the state of Michigan versus Eric Martin. Can I have appearances for the record, please? Stephanie Cannon with the Washtenaw Public Defender's part, uh, Office with an L on behalf of Mr. Martin, <clears throat> who is present, Your Honor. Okay. Thank you. Mr. Martin, can you please state your name for the record? Capital E, lowercase R I C, capital M, lowercase A R T I N. The yeah, soft tarts tend to uh, think that anything that's capitalized is uh, a corporation. That's why he's uh, spelling it this way. And as such, they believe that since courts only use all caps for uh, anybody that's being put on trial, then they are automatically suing the corporation, not the living man or something like that. Such as the, in this particular case, Sean Paul Reyes versus the city of New York. But the average soft heart won't even look beyond that and see that in the first couple of lines. Sean's name is not all caps and it's in fact capitalized with the first letter as as a matter of document formatting because you know headers are generally well all caps and the rest of the document unless absolutely necessary and goes back to the standard where the first letter of a proper name is capitalized but no they they won't acknowledge that i mean i guess it's just uh, doesn't fit with their narrative okay thank you sir Today is the date and time set for an arraignment in this matter. What I am seeing is that you failed to appear for a court date on February 1st and that you failed to appear for another court date on March 14th. Therefore, a bench warrant did issue for your arrest. Do you understand? No, I do not understand, and I do not stand under the charges. I am a living, one of the sovereign living people. Okay, uh, sir, sir. I'm not asking you if you agree with me. I'm I asking you, you, I am asking if you understand the words that I just said to you. No, I do not understand. I might comprehend that I do not understand and that I do not stand under the charges. And I am not a defendant. I am a living human sovereign. Uh, I'm not the legal fiction corporate entity, all capital letters name. Attorney, I do not, can I? Do not accept an attorney. Thank I you, Your Honor. At this time, um, he was staying mute and asked for a PR bond. Objection. You're not speaking for me. You're not my attorney. Perhaps you should exercise your Fifth Amendment right and uh, not incriminate yourself at this point and just let this lawyer speak on your behalf. That would be the intelligent thing to do because we all know that your intelligence waved bye-bye a long time ago when you fell for this uh, living man versus corporate entity kind of BS a long time ago, you know, all caps corporation, when all you have to do is take a look at a legal document and just read the header and then read the first few paragraphs and understand, well, maybe you're full of shit. You think you're my attorney. Thank you for the attempt, Attorney Cannon. You can turn your camera off. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, Mr. Martin. At this time, I am seeing that your license has been revoked. You have failed to appear for court dates in front of Judge Washington. You were to have a sentencing hearing and a pretrial date in front of her. So that is what I am going to set you for now.
I need you to uh, repeat to me again the uh, the case number of this case. I didn't couldn't get it all when you said the first time. The case number is two three S zero zero four two five. Two three S zero zero four. Oh, hold on. Two three S zero zero, right? Correct. Okay. After that, what else? Four. Okay. Two. Yep. Five. Was that it? Yes. Yes. Zero zero four two five. All right. That okay. wasn't finished. Cut me off. Okay. I had more to say. Uh, sir. I You're am setting it? you for another. I yes, I am because what I am doing today is arraigning you, and I am setting you for another court date in front of Judge Washington. That court date will be April eleventh, twenty twenty four. That will be at well, nine a.m. That will be for your pretrial and potentially your sentencing. I can't remember all this at once. Dude, it's just one date. It's not like you're trying to memorize uh, Macbeth or anything like that. And if you can't handle that, well, uh, program it into your cell phone. Put it on a calendar. Put it on your refrigerator. Do something to remind yourself of it later on. That way, you won't get a bench warrant issued for you. Oh, wait, no, never mind. It's too late. You've already got one uh, issued for you. Well, I guess that just comes with the being a the dumbass softard having bench warrants issued for you all the time. The date is when to get... April. Yep. 11th. Yep. 9 a.m. All right. That is 9 in the morning. Okay. Got that. What else? It will be over Zoom like this hearing. Right. Okay, now. Okay, is that it for that? Okay, now. Um, let me ask, so is, is, does she call herself, is this a uh, separate charge? I'm not entirely sure what you're asking. So what happened here was that a bench warrant was issued for your failure to appear. At this time, to guarantee your appearance at the court date on April 11th at 9 a.m., that warrant will continue. Okay, that wasn't intentional, so that's why it's a baseless it's baseless and it shouldn't have been the warrant issue because okay sir you've got your next court date that's april 11th at 9 a.m the bench warrant is continued this hearing is concluded and you are free to sign out of zoom so i have more to say i'm not done saying what i have to say presumed to my first amendment right i have more to say here that is um Sorry, dude, but that's not how it works in a court. Uh, they're going to listen to the facts of the matter. They're not going to listen to you spout off all your uh, sovtard bullshit while uh, there are other cases that need to be heard. She's a busy judge. She needs to get her work done before the end of the day, just like the rest of us. Now, you, on the other hand, uh, you have that bench warrant out for you. So if you have another failure to appear or you have an interaction with cops between now and your next uh, trial date, then uh, you will be uh, brought in uh, by the cops. So, yeah, I'm sure you will have an interaction with the cops that may lead to that. Hopefully you will. I mean, it's only inevitable considering that you like to, well, travel in your personal conveyance without any form of license, uh, registration, insurance, or anything like that. It's bound to happen. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? 
Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's... Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?